In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this sketch into a 3D resin art painting. First, we're going to tape off our edges. I am using frog tape, which is my go-to painter's tape. Just to be on the safe side, I'm covering the entire side of the panel and also the top edge. I feel like the backs of paintings are usually forgotten, but not today. I'll actually be starting this project on the back of the panel. I'm sealing the wood with a very thin layer of Moss Epoxy's tabletop system and a foam brush. To finish off the sealing process, lightly kiss the surface of your panel with a torch to pop any bubbles. I used red Solo cups and a clean canvas to cover my project for a dust-free finish. Once the epoxy has cured, remove that tape and let's get ready to swatch some paint colors. For this project, I'm using the Arteza Premium Acrylic Colors. Now, I always swatch my colors before painting. Since acrylic paints usually dry darker than they appear in the tube, this is a great way to figure out what colors are actually gonna work for your particular project. Once your paints are swatched and you picked the perfect color scheme, make sure to tape off the bottom edge of your panel for an easy resin drip removal. Let's mix up our first color. For me, it's gonna be a sandy brown. Use a palette knife for easy mixing. I then added Earl Lube Pour Fluid Medium to help extend the working time of my paint and also soften the paintbrush strokes. I coated the right side of the panel with white gesso, making sure to cover all of the exposed wood. Once your panel is completely dry, add your flood coat. Now I used Moss Epoxy's Art Pro system and I'll be using that throughout the rest of the video. Once your epoxy is evenly spread, all of the bubbles are popped and you left it to cure, it's now time to sand the surface. For this, I just used a 120 grit sponge sander and then cleaned the surface with rubbing alcohol and a soft cloth. Next, we're gonna mask off our design. To make the masking process a little easier, I sketched out a simple chevron template with just a piece of paper, a pencil, and a straight edge. Alrighty, let's start painting. So for this chevron, I used a darker brown and a large brush to fill in that whole entire area. Once I did about one to two coats, I removed the tape while the paint was still wet. Once this layer has completely dried, repeat the previous steps, alternating between your epoxy flood coat and painting your chevrons. Also, I just have to point out, look how squishy that paint is. It's just like a little squish of love. Okay, I'll compose myself. I'm sorry, but it just had to be said. Now, I know it's common practice to introduce yourself at the beginning of a video, but I'm gonna switch it up. So my name is Kelly Johnson, and I am the content creation specialist for Moss Epoxy. If you're familiar with my work, you know that I absolutely love to paint oceans, seascapes, beaches, really anything with pretty blue colors and a peaceful, relaxing vibe. With this piece, I wanted to have that same feel, but not in an obvious way. It felt so freeing to create something that wasn't my usual style. Being able to make this fun and funky, layered, geometric, abstract ocean, it's nothing that I've ever done before, and I loved it. I urge you to step outside of your comfort zone. Try something new, something wacky, something you've never done before. It can almost be like, like a brain floss. It just clears your head and lets more creativity flow in. Okay, enough about brain floss. Let's get back to this tutorial. We are on our last chevron of the piece, and this one was so tiny, it was so cute to paint. 
once we remove the tape and the paint is completely dry, we can add our final layer of epoxy. I just have to say it, spreading this epoxy is one of the most satisfying things. Once the epoxy has cured, flip it over on a soft surface. I used a large silicone mat. With a heat gun, soften the resin drips to easily remove the tape and drips from the back of the panel. With a palm sander, smooth out any ridges and wipe clean. For the finishing touch, don't forget to sign your work of art. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I had a fantastic time and I hope you did too. Stay creative and happy crafting.